Liverpool are in the process of finding a successor to Jurgen Klopp, who has announced he will stand down as manager at the end of the season. The club plans to appoint a new manager around the end of the season and are also looking to hire a new sporting director. Xabi Alonso is a strong candidate for the managerial position, but there are concerns about potentially destabilizing his current club's campaign. Liverpool's owners are confident in finding a suitable replacement and are focused on ensuring a smooth transition. Klopp is confident that he is leaving behind a strong legacy and a competitive team for his successor. The timing of Klopp's departure was carefully considered and the club has been praised for managing the announcement with sensitivity and professionalism. Tottenham Hotspur manager Ange Postecoglou has praised Christian Romero for stepping up as a leader in the absence of captain Sun Heung-min. Romero has taken on extra responsibility and shown leadership qualities, filling the void left by Sun's absence due to international duty. Postecoglou commended the team's resilience and positive atmosphere despite challenges, including absences and setbacks. He expressed pride in the team's growth and ability to regroup during a difficult period. Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp has announced that he will leave the club at the end of the season due to feeling a running out of energy. Klopp led Liverpool to their first league title in 30 years in 2020 and to Champions League glory in 2019. The decision was made in November and comes after a challenging season for the club. Klopp expressed his love for the club and city and emphasized that he wants to leave on a high note. Liverpool's owners, Fenway Sports Group, have expressed profound appreciation for Klopp and will begin the search for his successor. In a pre-match press conference, Everton manager Sean Dyche expressed confidence in striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin, stating that he believes an end to Calvert-Lewin's goal drought is imminent. Deitch emphasized that he is not concerned about the goalless run and highlighted a disallowed goal in a previous match as a potential turning point for Calvert-Lewin. Additionally, Deitch affirmed the importance of the FA Cup despite the focus on the Premier League and acknowledged the significance of the competition based on his own experiences. He also praised former Everton player Andrus Townsend, who now plays for Luton, and expressed his satisfaction at seeing Townsend succeed after overcoming injury setbacks. Real Madrid manager Carlo Ancelotti responded to criticism from Barcelona regarding refereeing decisions, particularly after Real Madrid's controversial 3-2 win over Almeria. Barcelona coach Xavi and president Joan Laporta had criticized the refereeing, with Laporta alleging corruption in the league. Ancelotti, in a press conference, hinted at Barcelona's ongoing investigation related to payments to a former referees committee vice president, suggesting this was the real issue in Spanish football rather than league corruption. Ancelotti also mentioned his team's preparation for their upcoming match against Las Palmas, despite missing England midfielder Jude Bellingham due to suspension. Atletico Madrid recently made a surprising bid for Celtic midfielder Matt O'Reilly, offering a loan with an obligation to buy for €23 million Euros in the summer. However, Celtic, led by Brendan Rodgers, rejected the offer, stating O'Reilly is not for sale this winter. Journalist Matteo Moreto reported that Atletico Madrid is unlikely to make an improved offer until the summer and any potential deal would require Atletico to offload a midfielder first. Currently, there are no discussions about a midfielder leaving Atletico. O'Reilly's impressive performance, with 22 goal contributions in 29 games, has attracted attention from other clubs, suggesting Celtic might face challenges to retain him in the summer. 17-year-old Italian attacking midfielder Simone Pafundi has joined Lausanne Sport on loan from Udinese. This move is significant for Manchester United due to Ineos involvement with both clubs. Ineos, which owns Lausanne Sport, also has stakes in Nice and Manchester United. Pafundi is considered a huge talent, and his performance at Lausanne will be monitored to evaluate his potential for future moves to either Nice or Manchester United. Manchester United and Liverpool had previously shown interest in Pafundi in 2022. Bolton Wanderers have signed 22-year-old wingback Nathaniel Ogbida on loan from Swansea City for the rest of the season. The Manchester City youth product, who has previous league experience with Shrewsbury and alone at Peterborough, is expected to join the squad for Saturday's match against Carlisle. Manager Ian Evett praised Ogbida's impressive performances and believes he will enhance competition for places at the club. Ogbita's arrival was expedited due to an injury to Randall Williams, but Evett sees potential for them to play together in the future. David Noble has been appointed as the new manager of Wealdstone, taking over from Stuart Maynard who departed for Notts County. Noble had been in charge of St Albans and had led them into the National League South promotion race. 
He joins Wealdstone on a deal until the end of 2025-26, with the club expressing confidence in his ability to excel in a full-time managerial role. Noble's assistant will be Neil Banfield, a former Arsenal youth coach. St. Albans will receive compensation for Noble's move. Bayer Leverkusen coach Zabi Alonso has dismissed speculation linking him with a return to Liverpool as a replacement for Jurgen Klopp, who announced his departure from the club. Alonso emphasized his current focus on coaching Leverkusen and expressed happiness in his current role. He also praised Klopp's achievements at Liverpool. German media has reported that Alonso has a clause in his contract allowing him to leave for one of his former clubs, including Liverpool, but Alonso stated that he is not thinking about the future and is fully committed to his current position. Leverkusen, under Alonso's leadership, are performing strongly in the Bundesliga and other competitions.